Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Let's Play Warframe. I'm your host with most, as always, Francois878. And today we are going to be doing a follow-up video from my first video on the pacifism defect. Uh, there has been some changes to the event that I feel like I should address. And uh, I wouldn't say it uh, goes as far as congratulating DE, but... Maybe putting my pitchfork down this time <laughs> on DE taking the concerns of the community seriously and easing us into this notion of clan oriented operations and events. Uh, for those of you who watched my first video on this new operation you will know that there's two sets of rewards one set of personal rewards that you yourself get and the other set of rewards are all clan based they are basically um, dip, uh, they're based on the high scores that you can achieve in the third and final mission and every member in your clan contributes to that and if you hit certain scores you can either get the blueprint for the ignis wraith the uh, fully built with slot and orican catalyst ignis wraith or if you're in the top 10 percent of your uh, clan tier as far as top scores you can actually get uh the the research in your uh in your clan dojo so the issue was is that the just the base clan participation award, uh, just getting the bare minimum blueprint for the Ignis Wraith, the amount of points you had to get for that was a little bit on the outrageous side. Now the fully built version of the weapon was even worse, but you could kind of justify it because it was the fully built version. Uh, but having this event being the first of its kind where the weapon is uh, given to you based on clan participation not just on your own participation i felt like the uh, level of points that you needed just to get the blueprint was very high and quite frankly i think the number of points to get the fully built version is high too but the met me in the middle here DE, as of about seven hours ago, <laughs> has uh, changed the minimum number of points to get the participation award at the end of the event. That is just getting the Ignis Wraith blueprint, the basic, uh, the basic award. So now I'm just going to tell you about ghost clans. You can go find out the numbers for your own clans uh, in, on the forums. The minimum number of clan score, of clan high score on the third mission that you had to have for the participation award was 1,300 points. Each one of your clan mates had to average uh, about rescuing about 40 defectors in the third mission in order to get the Ignis Wraith blueprint. Now, they've reduced this to 260. Uh, basically, they justified that by saying 260 points is at one solo mission where that person gets at least 65 uh, defectors to extraction. That's kind of how they came up with that number. Personally, I think it's a great number. Is it a little bit low? Yes, absolutely. I had already beaten <laughs> my, my high score, not even really trying, just kind of grinding with some randoms, was already higher than that by myself, not including anyone else in my clan's score. So is 260 a little low? Yes. And obviously they changed the participation award amounts for all clan tiers. And from what I'm gathering, uh, everyone pretty much already has uh, those scores in the bag. And I think it's a good thing that they changed this. This is the first event of its kind. We needed to be eased into this. There is no way 
that they should have made the point requirements as high as they were in the very first time. Now, the second clan-based event or operation, whatever you'd like to call it, down the road, six, eight, nine months, whatever, then yeah, sure. People will know that clans are important. We'll have the kingpin system. You know, we'll, we'll really have something to focus on and, you know, we'll be keeping our clans, you know, lean and active. It'll make more sense. But this is the maiden voyage. We are popping the cherry of these clan events. And I don't think it's fair for uh, DE to uh, put this kind of pressure on us immediately. And I know what you guys are thinking. Well, Francois, what about the HEMA? That's a, a big, long, you know, that's a, a big investment in clans. That should have been an indicator that clans are going to be important again. Correct. You are actually right. However, the fact that these are both clan-related items are pretty much where the similarities end. The HEMA is a long-term research investment that you can do in your leisure time. This operation is a short-term, limited-time event, and honestly, it, it, it they're not really comparable. Uh, now, again, I don't agree with the cost of the HEMA. I'm just going to throw that out there one more time. But I'm more okay with the cost of the HEMA being what it is because we have time to invest in uh, researching it. Whereas this, this is time uh, limited. This is, uh, it's just not the same thing. So that being said, uh, another change that DE made to this, um, this new operation is they added the Orkin Delerect defense drops to the pacifism defect missions so instead of getting the planet drops that you would normally be getting you are going to be getting the drops from the orkin uh, delirant which means mutagen samples not only that but supposedly according to de steve the drop rate is a little higher quote unquote he gave it a little extra juice you can look that up on the dev stream. Those are his words verbatim. So, and, and this was said that they did it the way that they did it because of the HEMA uh, to try and alleviate some of those concerns uh, about the research cost of the HEMA. And, I mean, is it too little too late? Yes, absolutely. I think, you know, the cost of the HEMA was outrageous and they could have done it the same thing with the HEMA. They tried to do too much too fast. If they had put the HEMA cost at, let's say, like 2,000 mutagen samples for the research instead of 5,000, people would have been much less angry, much, le much less outraged, and later on down the road, in six, seven, eight months, they could have ramped up the next research item to 5,000 or 6,000 mutagen samples, and people would have had time to farm uh, mutagen samples, and they would have gotten this whole, like, yes, clans are going to be important again. We need to grind for research. Yes, mutagen samples are going to be important. They're going to be more expensive pieces of research down the road. And I, I feel like... Uh, they've learned their lesson with this event. They decided to take a step back and ease us into this concept of clan, uh, clan-based events and clan-based performance sort of things. It's it's a good sign. It's a good sign. I'm not trying to be a fanboy here. I'm cautiously optimistic. I'm hoping that the HEMA has taught DE a lesson. I'm hoping that they've learned from it. I'm hoping. <laughs> and I'm hoping that they are going to ease us into these new mechanics and these new operations and this new research instead of uh, giving us that sticker shock uh, that DE Steve was talking about and make, basically blowing up the entire community <laughs> uh, over fucking research items in the dojo of all things. So basically, a lot of improvements to the operation. It's much more reasonable to at least get the blueprints so people won't be missing out on the weapon and mutagen samples were added to this 
uh, to this event uh, so that people can farm them up. Uh, they, they do drop at a pretty reasonable rate. Uh, I spent about 40 minutes uh, in the mission you're seeing here and, and got about 60 of them with no uh, resource boosters on at all, which is pretty reasonable, honestly. Uh, maybe a little lower uh, compared to, um, well, no, actually, ODD, that's probably about the same thing. I was going to say, I, I, I could have sworn I got an over, over 240 minutes on an ODD, but the ODD I had resource boosters, <laughs> which, which would explain why I got over 200. Uh, but yeah, that's about it, ladies and gentlemen. I'm just basically uh, putting my pitchfork down and uh, announcing that the squeaky wheel did get uh, the oil and DE listened to the community and has at least addressed most of my concerns with this particular event and uh, has just made it better for the community at large as well. Uh, so thank you very much for watching and listening to me ramble for 11 minutes. If you have any questions or have an opinion on the changes that DE has made in uh, this event, let me know in a comment down below. Until next time, I've been your host of the most, Francois878.